abundance that is here for you and the abundance is not about the money you are the abundance you are the wealth you are the fulfillment you are the resurrection of the Christ consciousness you are the wealth you are the abundance so being a sanctuary for your own spirit is the pathway to wealth and riches. Being a sanctuary for your own love, for your own joy, your own peace is how abundance comes to you. When you start to raise your vibration above noise and chaos and foolishness, you will start to see everything in your life becomes abundant because you've created the environment for it to be so. And the environment that is required is in the heart. The environment that is created is in the mind to have and to be a sanctuary of love, to be a sanctuary of abundance, of goodness, those who have submitted your petition. Spirit wants you to know now is the time. Now, there's no later and waiting and waiting. Receive it now. Tell the universe you want it now. Command your environment. Command your health. Command your abundance. Because it is your birthright. It is your birthright. Ask the spirit to prepare you to receive that which you need. As you all start to grow and to do different things, get businesses, more money, meet your significant other, uh, follow your dreams, whatever it is, as you begin to do these things, you will find out you will need to make more room for your expansion. Spirit said, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be fooled out of your birthright. Don't be fooled thinking that you're supposed to have um, just settle with what you have with poor health and um, no faults of yourself um, with your children scattered everywhere. No, no. Spirit is saying that's a decision. Spirit wants to remind you that you are God, but your vessel that you're in, the vessel of your life, 
has to be sanctified. We have to get out the thoughts uh, and the activities that bring our vibration down so you can be that sanctuary of abundance for yourself. So no matter where you go in this world, no matter what is going on on the outside, you are the sanctuary of love. You are the sanctuary of divine light. To be the sanctuary, pure and holy, doesn't mean perfect. It don't mean you're going to do everything right. It does mean that you honor your higher self, that you put yourself first. It does mean that you follow your first mind. Yes. It does mean that you know you have the power to choose how you feel in each and every moment. That is abundance. That is self-mastery. That is your power, which is authenticity. So many of you have written into us with so many great uh, petitions. And as I'm writing them down, because I wrote every single one down, every one that came in, I wrote them by hand. Oh, there's some great things that's coming. There's some great things that are already here. But Spirit wants you to be like water. Yes, be easy about it. Spirit wants you to smile more. Right? You'll find ways around it. Don't worry. And through it, be like water. Be like water. You can manifest so much when you are like water and you relax, you're at ease. Because when you do that, what you do is you take the hands of pressure and stress off of the situation. Empty your mind and you let it flow because we're meant to flow. If your money's not flowing right, it's because your power isn't flowing right. If your relationships are not flowing right, it's because something in you is not. But this ritual and this abundance, we realize that all blockages are gone. All barriers are gone in our mind, bodies, and soul, and we receive it. We receive it. Yes. We design the live the lives that we live. Yes. But we receive it. We receive it today. We receive our blessings. We receive our abundance. We are open to them. And as our heart opens, we can allow all the pain to flow out. And let the love come in. The pain can come out and the love can come in because remember the abundance is you you like water you like water drink your water allow it to minister grace to you during these times of change but we are in time of transformation a lot of your souls are being tr transformed so what you feel like is going on and it's chaotic in your life that's breaking apart, that you're tired, you're fatigued, is because your soul has already transcended that body in some ways. And so it's getting your attention through stressors and different things to say, hey baby, it's time to come up. Hey, I have something better for you. We know that this is what you've been doing for a while, but you are abundant and you are expanding. And there is a transfer of your energy back to you in places when you've given your energy away in situations and relationship that took your power, you gave your power away, oh, it's, it's, it's coming back. It's here. We celebrate the abundance, which is you. See, people thought this was all about money. We have money on our, uh, on our table. We have our candles, our crystals. We have everything represents of, of the ideology, the idea of abundance. But my friends, I want you to look yourselves in the mirror. And if you can't look yourself in the mirror right now, I want you to put your right hand over your heart and say, I am abundant. I am abundant. I am abundant. This means your health. This means your mental outlook. This means your relationships, both in your family or your intimate partner relationships those with your children, your co-workers, your community. This also means, this also means the relationship that you have with the universe. Oh yes, I am abundant. You keep your hand over your, your right hand over your heart and just say, I am abundant. I am abundant. I am Some of you are going to start to see things happen really quickly. It's going to be essential that you um, just prepare yourself and just be more relaxed on how things come to you, when they come to you. 
uh, if you'd be more open to how the universe may speak to you. Some of you may be even looking for a partner. And you may think a partner may come in one shape, form, or size, or wrapped in a certain package. But you'll be surprised how this partner will come to you and to be open to that information. Those who are wanting businesses, um, it is important to remember that <clears throat> you are your brand. Um, how you do one thing is how you do everything. So the best way to improve your business is to improve your spiritual life and allow it to work for you. The best way to attract clients is to become your client and always be your client. That means if you need to rest, you should rest. If you need to go to the ocean to call a friend, you need to do these things that honor you. To the degree to which you honor your highest self, because entrepreneurship and business for spiritual people are taking a different, a different phase right now. To the degree to which you honor yourself is to the degree to which you continue to enjoy the fruits of your labor by way of the monetary gains from your business. Clients, opportunities, contracts are coming, are here. Loans, um, investors, I see investors in the future. I see people getting to real estate. And these are nothing to be afraid of. Don't worry, what you need is gonna come when, it's, when the time is ready, when the time is ready. But these things are coming. And when they do come, just know it is because of the seeds that you've sown of abundance in your life, um, abundance in the lives of others. This is why you're able to reap the rewards of it. It's important to know that you're worthy. When good things happen, sometimes we tend to um, say, chalk it up to luck. We tend to um, kind of shy away or sometimes we feel like we're not worthy. But today we're healing all of that. For everyone who paid and submitted their petition, I prayed for the alignment. I am praying for the alignment of all of your energy centers I pray that your heart will continue to be open to you. I pray that you continue to express and experience the deepness of your own soul. May your vats be full and running over with goodness, grace, mercy, love, and of course abundance. May you have sweet sleep every night and may you rise with joy and strength. You are abundant. May your wells never run dry and always full and overflowing with abundance. So not just for you, but for others around you. So shall it be. May your health be strong and may you be radiant and full of life and vitality. So shall it be. May the good divine mother and divine father shower you down with many blessings of abundance, goodness. But most importantly, may you see the fruits of your labor manifest in your life right now. So shall it be. So shall it be. So shall it be. Many of you have been in with health issues, some chronic or some maybe acute but more chronic pain. As you begin to wrap your own arms around yourself, learn ways to comfort and mother and nourish yourself, you will start to see a lot of those symptoms disappear. A lot of you <clears throat> have been um, dealing with other things such as high blood pressure and diabetes and things like that. Those energies are just indications of areas that wants more of your love, that wants more of the abundance of your love. The Spirit is here to help you to open your heart to yourself again because that is where the abundance is. The money comes as a result of it. The relationship comes as, as a result of relationship with yourself. Meet yourself where you want this world to meet you. Meet yourself where you want the universe to meet you, where you want your partner to meet you. The one that you're waiting for, who's already manifested, but it's just a matter of what they say, time. But meet yourself there first. The list that you have for him, see if it's the list that you have for you. The list that you have for you, see if it's the list that you have for her. Meet yourself. Meet yourself. The only work you have to do in this world, family, is to meet yourself. Your job is here today, gone tomorrow. Cars, houses, these things are only of a, of a tangible, it's only of a particular dimension or realm. But there's so many realms that you can tap into to make you live in, to help you to live in this realm with more love, grace, and ease. 
And this ritual is about tapping into the abundance of who you are. It's tapping into the greatness energetically of who you are to manifest your healing, to manifest that money, to manifest that home, that breakthrough, that car, that dream career, that confidence, those children. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Your dreams are here for a, for a, for a reason. They're not just ideas pie in the sky. No, they're gifts to you to fulfill. It is your duty and your destiny to tap into that. And allow it to bring you even more. There's so much more available to you. You haven't have a concept yet because you haven't gotten there. That's how you find out it may feel far away because you just didn't get there yet. But boy, when you get a drop of that river on your tongue, boy, you will never go back. The amount of peace, the amount of wealth, it would never go back. It would be never worth going back to the person you used to be, the way you used to think, the way you used to talk. So allow this change, this transformation to take place. As I said earlier, some people are going to have to go. Some people may stay, but may stay in a different capacity. And some people may continue to be a part of your soul tribe. But just know things are changing. And we are sure that change is the really the only thing that is guaranteed it's change. And right now you're expanding. Right now you're growing. So it may feel uncomfortable. It may, you may feel a little anxious. But it's okay. Just breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. there's so much help for you there is so much help available for you this is why you have to be open to receive because they want to give it to you they want to give it all to you because you're worthy that's why don't ask no questions no need to you were created in abundance this is what you've come here to do and to be so how can you question who you really are all you have to do is accept it right all you have to do is to be open to yourself all you need to do that's the only work that you have in this world is to be open to yourself to feel yourself whatever's hurting feel it a lot of you are have some emotional pains from childhood from mothering from relationships a lot of you may have experienced um, sexual abuse sexual assault uh, even mental spiritual abuse I want to remind you and please listen with your inner ear. Please listen, listen with your heart. I want to remind you, when you were born, there was an entourage of spirit guides, spiritual teachers, divine, elevated, honorable ancestors. Those are the ones. And of course, the universe, right, that came and was witnessing your transition into this realm. And all of them made a pact to be there for you. All of them had an agreement to help you. And from the first time you took your breath in this realm until now, they're still there. I want you to take a minute and just feel the energy that's around you. How do you feel? What, what smells are around you? What, what energy is around you? Continue to breathe. This power is always with you. This power is always with you. No denying it. Whether you're up, you're down, you have money, you don't, whatever, however you feel, there is no judgment in it for you. Only love. And this team is also ushering in your abundance. And that's what you need to know. They're also helping you with your healing. They've also went ahead and took care of your money issues. They took care of your family issues. They went ahead and took care of that job. Oh, you know, I, 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 my money is getting this way. And um, I need to have a different job. Or I want to do entrepreneurship. I want to do this. I want to do that. Oh, they got it. They got it. Whoa. 
will you allow them? Will you make this thing easier for you? Will you? That's the only thing you need to do. Just say, I receive. I receive. Just say, I receive. And know that it's done. For all the petitions that were sent in, I was really amazed at how many we received. And I was really um, encouraged to know how much love, goodness, and, and just greatness that's just here for all of us. It's happening. It's happening now. <laughs> it's happening now. It's happening now. It's happening. And it is nothing that you got to work for. You got to struggle for. You got to stress over. This is not the type of thing I'm talking about. This is not the type of energy that we're talking about. Abundance is you. Abundance is your lifestyle. Abundance is your breath. As you continue to elevate your vibration, you're going to see things happen in your life that are going to be mind-blowing. Yes. Bring the positivity back into our lives. Into my life. Yes, every day. Because it's out of positivity we birth abundance. Everything that is love. Please Make your prayers always. Joy Ask the universe. Bring joy and peace and, and everything, everything that's positive and that's lovely that into your life. Love. That's what you want. That's what you want. Because the truth is, where we are, where we have been, because we're changing over, where we had been was a culmination of our thoughts and our ideas and our beliefs about ourselves. Why not elevate that to match this energy that's here? Calling your spirit guides to help you. In the evening time, before you lay down and go to sleep, my beloved ones, I want you to remember, it's important to release. Let things go. You can say, I release all things that no longer serve me. Right? Yes. Yes. Let it come to you. Bring that positivity in. In the evening time, you release all negativity. In the rising, you take in your positivity. Yes. Bring it into your life. Breathe into your life. Breathe in. Breathe out. No matter what you're going through. Star love, we see you. We see you. No matter what you're going through. Oh, you're not you're not too not too far. Things ain't too bad. No. What it is, let's expand our view of what's going on and who you are in this realm. You are God, beloved. Nothing is too small. Nothing is too big. Nothing is insignificant. Everything is important about you. And for all those who pay in and put in their petition, everything is important about you. Everything from your toenails to your eyes to your skin, how you feel, how you breathe, the water that you drink, where you live, that matters. And if it's not working the way you want to work, you know you have the power to change it into what you want it to be. And this energy is here to help you to do that, to transform your life. We're at a pivot, we're at a turning point in time. And there's so much love. There's so much gentle Into compassion that's here. We don't have to be hard on ourselves. We don't have to continue to judge ourselves. When we judge ourselves, we bring in shame and guilt and fear. And we, we can let that go. And the energy is here to give you the grace to do it. 
Your spirit team is here to help you to do it. To reach your highest potential. Not just for today. Not just for right now, but your children and your children's children. Yeah, they're a part of this too. As you heal yourself, you can heal seven generations before you and seven generations after you just by you doing the work. That is power. Tell me where they can do that at. <laughs> Tell me where anywhere in this natural realm is that being done. People who are so-called in another realm still being healed. But you have the power to do it. You're doing it. Anything that's troubling you in your waters, may it be at peace. May the Spirit of the Most High guide you and keep you and protect you in all your ways. Even in the moments when you feel lonely or fearful or doubtful, may the wonderful warm arms of compassion surround you and your children, your children's children, and everything that surrounds you and that's important to you. May you know that you will never hunger and thirst for any good thing, but everything that's abundant and good and joyous belongs to you. May you know your birthright. May you know your purpose. May you fulfill that in great abundance, that it brings you joy and fulfills you and, and allows you to be overflowing as a river. May you continually to be like water, being able to change, to, to morph, to flow, to go around, to go through, to become solid, to become liquid, to become gas, to basically be anything you want to be. May you become like water, essential to yourself, essential to everything that's life-giving. May you see in the greatness of who you really are. Not what you've been told, not what you went to school for, not, not any of the labels that's been placed on you. May you see your light shine in divine glory. This is the abundance that is here for you today. This is the love and the power that is here to manifest every and anything you desire. And so shall it be to you right now in abundance until it overflows. May your light shine wherever you go. May your heart be filled with gladness and joy always. You easily will find abundance everywhere you go. I easily find abundance everywhere I go. Easily find abundance everywhere I go. I easily find abundance wherever I go. Don't give up on yourself. Doesn't matter if the world gave up on you. That's okay. <laughs> they had their job to do. But abundance is all around you. Don't give up. Don't stop dreaming. Don't stop smiling. Oh no, this is the time. We easily encounter abundance everywhere we go. Abundance is looking for you. Are you looking for it? Yes. Abundance is looking for you. Are you looking for it? and joy, joyfully create abundance in your life. You easily find and joyfully create abundance in your life. You easily create, excuse me, you easily find and, and joyfully create abundance in your life. Oh, let your abundance give you joy. Oh, let everything you put your hands to be prosper and blessed. Let everything you touch to tone turn into gold, to to well, if it's an idea, if it's a concept, if it's a relationship, may your hands be like gold and bring abundance and life to everything that you joyously create. So go about creating. 
Go about creating your life with boldness, with grace and ease. Go about it and do it now. It's your birthright. The pain you're going through doesn't feel good because it's, it's not your birthright. And you're holding on to something that doesn't belong to you. And so it's a, it's a vibrational mis mismatch for you. So this is why you feel the pain in your body, um, the suffering that you've gone through. These are lessons to get you into the, your ascended process where you are knowing who you are and you're in your full power. So we send compassion and love to the pain and the hurts of the past. Because that was necessary to create the divine, beautiful being that you are right now. your life, your money, your relationships, your dreams, your aspiration to be filled with love. Allow it to be filled with love and abundance. All you have to do is just say, I receive. I receive abundance now. Because it's, it's waiting at the door, just waiting for you to open it. <laughs> oh, it feels so good to be alive. Thank you for choosing to be here. Thank you for choosing to be in this room and bringing your gifts to the forefront. I know there were times it wasn't easy. It was a struggle. It was, it was, but thank you. Your soul thanks you. Your soul thanks you. In just a few a few short days, a lot of you are going to start to get the manifestations of what you've asked for. Again, sometimes it may come in a realm that looks a little different or may initiate in a few days and you may see it come about in maybe a couple weeks or the next day. So give it some time, of course. This is ritual work. Once we, we put our petitions out there, it's done. It's our faith that sustains it to, to this realm of manifestation, right? So it's already done. That's how powerful you are. Those of you who, again, who pay on this ritual, you will start to see things open up for you very quickly. Just know that you're worthy. Remember to smile and say thank you. <laughs> oh, remember to be joyful. <laughs> and look, you ain't got to work for everything. So if it comes easy, don't, don't get nervous. <laughs> Because it's supposed to come easy to you with love, grace, and ease. And according to our Kermanti tradition, this is how we are to ask for things. With love, with grace, and ease. So when we receive those good blessings, it comes to us and it's so sweet. Those are you who are talking about diabetes and their health. As your life continues to get sweet, that will go away. Those that you suffer with high blood pressure... As you turn your energy inside to you and cut off some of the energetic bleaching that's draining your personal power, oh, your life would be great. Your life would be wonderful. Those things will go away. Right? I am safe here. There's peace all around you. There's peace all around you. You're safe, you're safe, you're safe, you're loved. And once you, once this is completed, we're getting ready to wrap it up. Just know it's all, it's already working. It's already, it's already done. And um, just remember you're loved. You're not alone. You're loved. Abundance of, there's abundance of everything you need. And it's on its way.
wish everyone a wonderful evening. All of you, I is my prayer that you rest well, that you release all things that no longer serve you and be an expectation of your abundance, knowing that you are worthy. Knowing that you are worthy. <laughs> you came here to live this whole life. <laughs> and you're getting this life. Oh, the universe loves you. The ancestors love you. Your honorable ancestor spirit teams, your guide. You got them. You may not know all of them, but they're there. They're watch they've been watching you from the beginning of this time. The beginning of your time. I wish you all a great evening. Remember, release all things this evening before you go to bed. And when you rise up, raise with an anticipation, with a positivity, and all that you've asked for. It's already done. Until next time, family. Good night. I love you. Bye bye. I'm sorry. Uh -huh.